as we all know, I reviewed a bunch of movies. Some good, some bad, some whatever. But I, for, a few, for a while, I may, I've thought about movies that I have will never see or review the two the last two the first two that I'm going to talk about are movies I've seen but I'll never review um number 10 it to me it will be Howard the Duck this movie is trash it always has been the my least favorite movie uh, I have ever seen Either that or the Kim Possible 2019 movie. This movie on almost level is terrible. It's embarrassing. It's weird. And kind of creepy. Especially the romantic subplot between the Lee Thompson and Howard the Duck. And there's a weird shower scene at the opening. <clears throat> yeah, this movie is terrible. Absolutely terrible. No review coming. Number eight. I mean number number nine. Fan four steak. Same thing. Horrible movie. I hate that I don't want no review of it because I have no desire to. Um But I'll get my thoughts on it here. Uh, this movie is I think I of course this movie has a lot of issues in behind the scenes. Of course, Trank talked about it in interviews and and tweets, but this movie and every level sucks. From the cinematography, uh, the costumes that they wear that have resemble no have no resemblance to the characters. Uh, it is too short. Only has one action, which is dumb. Um, it's, and the actors are horribly miscasted and terrible CGI from the thing. Uh, yeah, it really sucks. Number eight, uh, The Last Airbender. I briefly talked about it in the worst uh, movies of all time, alongside Fan Forstake and Howard the Duck. But it's a movie I'll never review because... When I, I watched half of it on Netflix, and it was really bad. I couldn't watch the whole thing, so yeah, it's a movie I don't like for a few, like, 20 minutes of it that I'll never have the chance to see it. Number seven, <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, I'll do this. Number seven, six, and five have the same reason for it, so I'll do that one. So number seven, six, and five are Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Saw, and Hostel. And the reason for it is not because I don't like horror movies, which I do. It's, it's because they're too much gore. I have reviewed a bunch of bl movies that have a lot of blood, like Blade or Robocop. But from what I've seen footage of on YouTube... It's too much of it, especially since Texas Chainsaw has cannibals and has Chainsaw as the killer. It doesn't, it yeah, am not a movie for me. And also, there was some horrible behind the scenes of that first movie. Saw so just from the first, the poster from the first movie and second movie. I'm uncomfortable with that one. Like, those movie posters are like the most. Messed up posters ever. And Hostel, I heard about this movie because of the dead meat kill count. And this movie was too frightening and gory as heck to me. Especially since the one scene where the character cuts his own eye. And I was, couldn't watch that kill count video. I stopped it. And also the same person who made the Thanksgiving movie. Which is based on a super mad... Super crazy trailer. That really shows me that I have, don't think I have a chance to watch these these movie franchises at all. Sorry if you want me to do it, but that's just me. I don't want to. Um, number four is Food Fight. 
movie sucks, of course. I tried to watch it twice, uh, two times, but it's so terrible I couldn't watch the whole thing. I watched this movie, was trying to watch this movie as a punishment for having some anger issues. I won't give a what say what it is, but 2022 had those things and Food Fight could have helped me. But it was so bad I could not watch it. I can watch the the original 2002 trailer, but I cannot watch that all rushed and horribly paced and horribly made animated feature. I cannot stand that movie. I could not stand it. And also, that is my number four food fight. Number three, X-rated or NC-17 rated movies. Now things get a little, little controversial in terms of what I'm going to say. Because these re- movie rating, because there have been movies that review like Robocop that was almost X-rated. But because they couldn't, they don't want it, they just cut out to an R. Um... But it wasn't that much of it, that much that bothered me, but X-Ray or NC-17, that would be hard to review it as right now. Maybe someday in like a different platform or channel, maybe, who knows. Especially since they have some pretty messed up animated features with the X-Rating. And yeah, they... The end, the rate the reason I don't want to review these movies because they're they have more content in terms of how they they have no problems in having showing more explicit stuff if you know what I mean. And so I I will probably have a hard time reviewing it without this without talking about how graphic the these movies are gonna be. So that's my number three. Number two, Madam Web. When I saw the trailer, it was a movie that I f- did not like the trailer of it. But I have some, at least some hopes that I could think this movie would feed something. But I saw every single review of it and that changed my mind. I have no desire to watch Madam Web. Even the trailer didn't like, I didn't feel hyped for it at all, like I said. And doing a Man Web movie is a weird idea. And, yeah, it was, they, and from every review, the costumes don't, are barely in the movie. False advertising. And, uh, yeah, Man and Web, number one to me, Will be an interesting one because it is the childhood IP based slasher movies. The Banana Splits movie, the mean one, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and the sequel, and the forthcoming Mickey's Mouse Trap and other Mickey Mouse and Winnie the Pooh horror knockoffs. What do I have to say about them? At first, I feel like these are interesting ideas to take these childhood things and turn into horror movies. But the more it happening, the more it feels like it's lazy and just feels like it's the only thing that they that these other people, newcomers in Hollywood, want to do with childhood IPs. Turn them into slasher villains. And that's it. And even some of the kill counts I saw, they just feel like standard slasher movies. And if they weren't called Banana Split, Mean One, or Winnie the Pooh, they just would be the, the same thing, when, just not with the characters. And even the designs of these versions of these characters look very ugly. Though I know that was probably intentional for a horror movie. But yeah. No desire to see them. Not even if you want some money request of it. No. No, 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 no. But yeah, that was my top 10 movies 
I will never review on the channel at all.